I am the Loom Master. I'm your friggin' host, Bilsif. Today on the Bilsif Show, we've been working under the hood a little bit on the old Chevy. I'm not working on this area right here because this is gonna be coming out soon, but not yet. So I'm working more on this area and the outside areas. Doing a little bit of wiring movements and stuff like this. I used to have a little module over here that worked the front lights, but I moved it over to right down here. I took out the battery box area painted it so we can probably put the battery box back in because I painted it last night and it looks pretty damn like a battery box eh it's not perfect but it looks good enough the battery's gonna sit on it make sure when you do a battery box when you're going to put it back in we're gonna never seize every damn thing on the truck you don't have to worry about it eh so I guess never seize every bolt on this truck that I take off because it makes me feel better if I do that so we'll put the battery box back in, or the battery tray, sorry I should say. Put the battery tray, I should say. Careful! Easy. There we go, battery tray's in. We'll put the battery in in a minute, because I'm not really in a rush. I can put uh, this thing back on here for the old stereo. My wire that's big enough to run a hamster. You guys were all teasing my wire. It wasn't very nice. Oh, never sees. Sorry about that, almost forgot. So we'll stick this in. We can find the hole. What the hell? There it is. There we go. We should probably put two in there. Let's do that. We only put one there last time. Let's put another one in. Now it's in. There we go. <gasps> Never cease. Never cease to amaze me that I forget. There we go. Perfect. So that's mounted. Oh man, this is just turning out to be just a wonderful friggin' thing we're doing right now. Let's put the battery back in. There it is. The battery block, which is right here. They even clean that off. Can you believe me? I wouldn't. But I would all at the same time. Looks like that. Back in. Never sees. There we go. Perfect. Now we can hook the battery back up. My homemade battery connection terminal. Look at that thing, boys, girls, peoples. I made that. Put the ground on first though, eh? Always put the ground on first, Captain. I like to always put the ground on first anyways. You can do whatever the hell you want. Look at it go. This takes a little while though because like I said, this is homemade. And I had to take her so she's all the way down deep, deep in there. Because you know, as of before, the battery terminal got stripped. So I gotta make sure I get her in. So now what I can do is I can put this on and my lights back on. See that? I made my own stud. The one I ordered from Amazon didn't come in. Credit it to me, but it didn't come in. So we'll just do it this way. There we go. Oh, just so you know, normally I buy my wire loom from good old Princess Auto, I do. I was on the old Amazon last night and they had a pretty good deal. I got 100 feet of quarter inch for $19 and 50 feet, half inch, 26 bucks. So you go to Princess Auto, you're gonna pay about $15.99 for 25 feet. So that was a pretty good deal on that. So now I can do all the little lines and stuff like that. I took off all the old loom on here because it was all over. We gotta loom this up. And I'm gonna start probably with that, I would think. Let's do that. It's getting hot in here. Holy moly, that thing works. I turned it up. I don't know why. Ooh. Oh, careful, too far. Oh, and I also got myself a pair of the cheapest side cutters I could find. And I got myself the cheapest pair of friggin' needle nose with a little hot ski scoopy I could find. Because I needed that too. They're always needed. We're always needing tools around here, we are. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. Lumage. Let's try it. So we'll start here, because this is where we started. It's got a little connector with doodad, thing with bobber. And then we'll just carry it on. Oh, this is good loom, boys. She's stiff. Oh, yeah. Decent. Kind of. Sort of. Frig. Let me get that in there. Oh, 
no. What have I done? Uh, uh, mm. Oh, frig. Careful. Okay. Maybe we should start it from that side. Yeah, we have to. Give me that back. Frig. Let's start from this side. Maybe. Yeah, there it goes. Are you watching? Probably not, because you can't see the brake boosters in the way. Hold on, you'll be able to see in a minute. How you doing, bud? Should have bought myself one of them loom machines, or whatever they're called. The thing you use to put loom on. I heard they work really good. So we'll get this joint in here, and we'll tape it up. That's how I do a joint, so it doesn't come off. Look at that, eh? Doesn't that look good? Pretty right it does. So let's keep going. Gotta get that white wire in there. That white wire is an extra. Oh, wait. Something's happening. Actually, let's get this kind of cut to where we need it. We're winning. There it is. All right, so there's that one. So now that's in. I'm gonna tape a little bit here just to keep everything kind of in line. It's not the easiest thing to get to down there. It looks like it's easy, but it's not because it's all, it's almost made for left-hander down here. There we go. And I need one more piece for that. Perfect. This is headlights if you're wondering. Frank, I got a lot of friggin' loom down here. <gasps> uh, let's just tape all this together. There we go. She's mint. We got her, Jim. Can get right carried away if I want, but I'm not gonna. So now that that's done, we can move on. <clears throat> now, I don't know if you guys have a Chevy or not, but if you do, let me tell you a little something about the Chevys here. Normally, you have a, a hose that comes out of there for a squirter, and then they connect right about here with a Y, and then this one comes out. So it looks messy across here. So I ran the one down inside along the cowl, and the connector's right inside now, right here, which is still the way of the mechanism of the wipers. So now you just have one hose coming out down to the washer bucket. It just makes it, you know, a little tidier, if you know what I mean. Take some of the smaller loom, and we'll loom that hose. Because I got 100 feet of it, and why wouldn't I? If you got it, might as well use it. This thing's gonna be the loom master. I gotta find the end, boys. Hold on here. Hold your horses. Come on. There we go. Nope, no, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. Really? How do they have the end that well buried? What is really going on? Come on! Is it big enough for this hose? Probably not. Why would it be? Oh, this might be big enough for them. Frag. Let's loom the brake lines. Why wouldn't we? Look at that, boys. They don't call me the loom master for nothing. Oh, have an eye. That's gonna work. It's gonna clean the lines off is what it's gonna do. Ah, oh, yeah. Really likey. I hate it when the loom folds. Drives you crazy, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. am. Ooh. Heater come on already, but it is cold out tonight. There it is, look at that, boys. Girls, peoples. I don't care who you are. That looks friggin' amazing. Friggin' right it does. So much neater and tidier. This line's smaller, so I should be able to slide this one all the way down. Let's see. There it is. I am the loom master. There you go, look at that. That looks dece. Can't see that don't look dece. How long is this one? Oh my God, like it was made for it. Mine's well. Loom her up, Tim. Perfect. Big fan of the loom. Good. Oh, one more piece. We need the bigger stuff. Holy cow. Why is there so much visible wire in here? I like nice and neat. You guys watching this video probably gonna think I'm just weird. But hey, think what you want. Okay, that's done. Let's go over there. Fix that up. So we're gonna need the small stuff, because I'm gonna do the battery line by itself. And I should be able to use the small black stuff. Come on, baby. There we go, okay. I really like what it looks like, but the stuff is darked out and you can't really see it as much. 
hamster wire done. A little piece for here. This won't be here long because I'm going to get the vintage air system. You already know that though, someday. Not right now. Can't tell me that wire's not ugly either. Don't lie to me. You say, oh, you're covering up a good looking wire. Yeah. No, I'm not. Covering up an ugly piece of junk. Slap that on there. We'll pull this back off and we'll tape all this up. Too bad I didn't have a big junk, giant chunk of heat shrink on that. That'd be awesome. Perfect. Let's put a little zip tie here. Let's put another little zip tie right here. We just happen to have another zip tie we can put right here. There it is. All right, that looks good. Now we just gotta clean up this thing. Cause this goes up here. Actually, these don't look too bad though. Probably just throw some new tape on it. It'll be fine. I don't wanna do too much with these. This is for the fuel injection. Beautiful, there you go. That's about all I'm gonna do for this video. I just wanted to come on here and show you how I clean up the engine compartment. If I use a whole bunch of loom and just paint and stuff and it's coming along pretty good. Besides this thing here, this is ugly, but like I said, we'll power wash that and just paint her flat black for now. What is all that? Oh, it's from this. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification. Welcome any new subscribers to this channel. This is what I do on this channel. Next, we got some shocks that we got to put in the rear end of this thing. So stick around for that. We'll get that done. And we maybe clean the hood off too. It looks pretty gross. If anybody knows the line on where you get a hood liner for that, let me know in the comments down below. Love you all. Glad you're here. And until next time, you know what to do for now.